Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. You're listening to the man whose mother still thinks he should try to get a real job. Dear folks, I got this great job in a gas station. I don't want to say how much I'm getting, but let's just say it's a lot. I'm enclosing $2. That's a good boy. Jim Blassig Game, the small business advocate. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for staying with me. My pleasure to continue to be with you as always. We got our good friend Karen Kerrigan back on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Karen is the founder and the president of the Small Business and Entrepreneurship Council. She is an original member of the show, basically, not just a founding member of the Brain Trust. She's been with me since 1997. That's right. The first, within the first, in less than the 30 days of me being on the air, Karen joined me for the first time and has uh, somehow has <laughs> been, I've been able to do something to get her to keep coming back. And, I, and as you've heard me say many times before, Pound for pound, nobody does more for small business than Karen Kerrigan. She's our good friend and one of my heroes. Karen, welcome back to the show. Hey, Jim. Great to be here. It's good Great to have you. Here. And happy, happy New Year to you. I don't you think too. we've uh, been able to talk, you know. It's no. 2011 has rolled in. And it's and it's it's a, a, a one twelfth gone too. By the way, it's it's oh, hard. Gosh. Times fly and flies, doesn't it? When you're having fun, Karen. Um, the president uh, last week uh, delivered his State of the Union speech. And I didn't hear a lot in that speech for small business. In fact, I heard more things that were that, that troubled me about small business than 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 were positive about. In fact, I I think I heard him say the word the term small business once during the speech. What do you think? Well, I think rhetorically, um, you know, the president is 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 trying to be a you know a pro business type of guy. Uh, and he's done some, you know, cosmetic things and some personnel things, you know, at the White House to, um, uh, you know, to, you know, beef up, I think, his, his business agenda. Um, and we heard a lot about innovation and competitiveness. And, and you're right, we didn't hear a lot about small business and entrepreneurship. But we also didn't hear, you're right, a lot of specifics um, in his speech. I and think he's trying to sound like a pro-business president, but I don't think he actually knows how to do that, Karen. Right. And, and you know, and you've got to do more than just sound like one and, um, uh, you, you know, talk nice things about small business and say you're going to be small business. I mean, it all comes down to uh, your actions and, you know, what the policy trends have been, not only in the past two years, but then what, what are the policies going to be moving forward? So mm-hmm. we're still looking at, you know, the same things we looked at last year, which is, um, you know, the implementation of the health care law, the financial service overhaul bill. Um, you know, He's still proud of his health care bill. He's still proud of his health care bill, isn't he? Very much so. I mean, he did say, look, at I, 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 if you have ideas, you know, come to me to make it better. But he also said that, you know, while we were debating that bill, and, and uh, he really didn't listen to the small business community. Right. There were plenty of ideas that, that right. were offered, but none were, none, were, none were accepted. Right. And, and, and um, you know, we'll get rid of this uh, 1099 uh, provision, and um, but, you know, that's just sort of the tip of the But if it's that easy to get, my point is, if it's, if it's that easy to discard, why wasn't it easy to not put it in? Why did it? I mean, this is an example of not listening to to what what's what's good for or what may be harming small business. I mean, there were plenty of opportunities to take it out, but they refused to do that because it messed up oh. their numbers. Oh, I know, I know, and and so that that uh, makes that that right. does not I make mean, we, that does not make small business to, owners comfortable with his message. Well, right, and and you know, and and he um, you know he did mention. Um, you know, the week prior, or not the week, but yeah, the week prior to his State of the Union, um, he also did come out with his regulatory initiative, and, you know, that's sort of a wait and see, too, in terms of is he really serious about this? Because he, if he is, then, um, you know, the, the agencies are going to have to, in my opinion, relook at some of this, right. uh, some of these health care regs, and there should be some action on that. If he's really serious about lifting uh, red tape and burdensome rules off of small business owners, 
um, you know, there has to be tension between the White House and the regulatory agencies. And mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to be seeing that or not, because as you know, they've been out of control. So, yeah, right. in terms of the speech, Jim, you're right. Uh, there really weren't a lot of specifics. Uh, we did talk, he did talk about tax reform and certainty and moving to a, you know, a, a, a fair uh, system, a streamlined system, but again, uh, with no specifics. And, you know, really to me, over the past month, um, it, it looked like the, the White House has been catering more toward the big business community mm -hmm. than small business. I mean, even last mm -hmm. year, uh, the door has been opened. Well how, well, how is that different from the last two years? You know, I mean, well, I mean, he, a small, well, business, but, but, but he, small business has got nothing but lift service for the last two years. Right, right. But, you know, but I, I guess those, the big business community would argue he didn't like any size. Well, what I agree. <laughs> I agree. But when there were bailouts, the big guys got it. Small business didn't get any help. Not that we wanted bailouts. We just want the government out of our way. Karen, hold on to that thought. We've got to take a quick break, folks. Karen Kerrigan and I, we're going to delve into some of those specific regulations she mentioned earlier after these messages. 20 tales. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited.